today we're going to be making a pretzel salad and i have not made this in so long it is so so good it's got pineapple it's got that sweet and salty taste it has cream cheese it's wonderful and i haven't made it in a long time it was in our church cookbook from a long time ago a previous pastor's wife used to make it we loved it and so we are going to make it again today we're having company tonight and uh, we're having barbecue and ribs and all the kind of stuff and this just sounded like it needed to be part of the thing so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to melt a stick of butter so i have a stick of butter just melted it in um a little pirate um pan there and then it calls for a cup of crushed pretzels so i just got the stick pretzels and i like this brand so i got this brand and i just took my rolling pin and i just crushed them up and we'll see if i've got a cup and this is the good part because you you just want to lock pretzels so i if i have a little over a cup i'm gonna be fine with that and I think I do have a cup, a, a little over a cup. So I got a cup and then I have a little bit more here. So that is fine. I'm going to be happy with that. Okay, so we're going to take our pan out here. And we're going to mix together that cup of pretzels. And we are going to put some sugar in here. And then we're going to bake bake them just just a little bit just for a tab let me get a spoon and uh everybody likes a sweet salty taste so all right so we're going to do a fourth of a cup of sugar a fourth of a cup of sugar with this cup of pretzels and a stick of butter all right, let me move you down. All right, we're just going to stir this around. Let that all kind of get together. We're going to put it back in the oven just for just for a minute, just to get it toasted. And we're going to take them out and we're going to save them. Chris is out there. He's making ribs. Oh, you did? I, I didn't want it to leak, so I turned it back up. He had the honey upside down so he could get it. If you put it in the microwave for just a second. All right, so we got that all done, and we're going to put this back in the oven for just about five minutes. Not very long while we whip up the other part of it. Okay, so in a bowl, we are going to put... A dill of cream cheese, eight ounce package, cream cheese, and we're going to do a three fourths cup of, I can just use this thing, a three fourths cup of sugar. And we're going to mix this together. Let's see what else. It says preheat the oven 350, combine the pretzels, the sugar, and the melted butter, bake for five minutes, and then let cool. Mix one fourth cup of sugar. No, three fourths cup. Let me put my glasses on. Three fourths cup of sugar with the cream cheese. All right, so three fourths cup of cream sh of um, sugar with this cream cheese, and we're gonna blend it up. And I just have the Walmart, the Walmart one. Juice and all. I mean, don't really have juice, but just the whole can. I love this stuff. Love 
having it even the next day. It is just one of those things that's so good. We're gonna mix this up together really, really well. My bigger spoon would be better. What I like about the um, pretzels too, it, it has a crunch in the salad, so it's it's just really tasty. Okay, super 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 easy, and now we are going to fold in a whole the bigger the bigger deal of cream cheese. Um, uh, Cool whip. This is um, the recipe actually asks for 12, calls for 12, a 12 ounce, but they don't have that anymore. This is actually uh, a 16 ounce, and then the smaller ones are eight. So I don't think that that's going to make big, much of a difference. So I'm going to put in the whole thing. And if your store has a 12 ounce, then there you go. I'm just going to go ahead and put the whole thing in. Or maybe I'll just leave out just a spoonful. No way it's closer to that. We'll just leave a little smidgen in there. Okay, then now we're just gonna fold this in. I want to stir those those uh, pretzels just to kind of give them an even cook. So let me do that real quick. You want them good and toasted. Now when you go to serve this, it's good to keep those on the side so they don't get mushy. You wanna put the pretzels in right before you serve it. But we're gonna do a taste test and we're gonna have a little bit, so I'll show y'all. I like to put them on the side and then uh, just have them sprinkled on. You can put a few in here, but this makes quite a bit. I might should have got a bigger bowl. I'm gonna just fold this in really good and I'll be right back. Okay, I got it all good and folded in. And I think these are probably ready, so I'm gonna pour pull these out. Let them cool for a second. I've got a kind of matching bowls here. I've got this big one and then I've got the small one. So I'm going to put my pretzels in the small one and we'll put our salad in the the big one here. This is needs to chill. So we're going to put this in a the refrigerator. You'll want to make this several hours in advance. And let it chill. But we've got to taste it. You want to taste it, darling? I haven't done that shirt yet. Yeah, we'll put some spray on it. Already did. Already sprayed it. Okay, so we've got our um, salad in here. Sorry, we're talking laundry. And our, our channel's real, y'all. We just have our life around here. And then we're going to put our pretzels in here. We'll just keep these. I'll cover them with some foil until we serve. But you get the jest. I'm not going to do that whole thing because it's too hot right now. So, but we're going to try. Let me see. I'll just get a little one, and we'll do a little daub. Dab, dog. Yum. 
like that and we'll put some pretzels on top. You can sprinkle them on top or you can mix them in. It's so good, y'all. So, so, so good. I can't tell you how good it is. The name of it, pretzel salad, it just kind of sounds average, doesn't it? But it isn't. It is good. So, it just, only thing that would make it better if it was ice cold. So, let's get a bite. Mmm. It's just as great as it was when I had it a long time ago. It's been several years since I've made it. It is wonderful. Mmm. Good. So I'm going to cover this. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and let it chill itself this evening. And then I will serve my pretzels, like I said, on the side. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Please try it. You won't be disappointed. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. Until then, keep looking to the east. Bye.